Hey, what's going on? It's Be The Installer. I'm here to show you specifically how to take your TV off the wall or uninstall it and the proper way to take the mount off the wall. So I hope it's helpful. Smash the like button if it is and make sure to subscribe to get videos like this on TVs, mounting, unmounting, and also, you know, reviews and things like that. So for uninstalling your TV, you don't need a ton of tools. It's actually pretty simple. A lot of people think it might be complicated, so they hire someone like me to charge $150 to take the TV off the wall, and really, that's unnecessary. Anybody with a few tools at home and maybe two people can uninstall a TV from the wall. Not that hard. So the tools for the job are gonna be something like a screwdriver or an Allen wrench, which will be needed to unscrew safety screws in the back of the TV that are holding on that are not holding the TV directly to the mount, but the ones that are pinning it up against the, the brackets at the bottom uh, or connecting it to the arm. You'll need um, you know, a socket and ratchet if you're gonna take the bolts out of the wall. Um, I also have this adapter on here that has a hexagonal that goes into my drill. So that makes it really easy because I can just pop it on my drill and screw them out. But in either way, you're gonna have to have something like that or a wrench, just like a crescent wrench to take them out if you don't have something like this. Another thing that you'll need is a good place to put the TV. So that's something you should think about before you actually have it in hand. I mean, I've done a lot of these and sometimes I am standing there with the TV like, oh crap, where am I gonna put this? So make sure you have a good idea where you're gonna put the TV, a safe place where you're not gonna scratch it. Home Depot sells like boxes you can get that are padded. Uh, I recommend wrapping it with something. You can also use a moving blanket to take it from place to place. Uh, but just always make sure you have a good place. A lot of times I put the screen toward the wall when I set it on the ground, put some sort of towel or something on it. But if you put the screen toward the wall, then if people are walking by it, they're unlikely to hit the TV. But let's get into taking the TV off the wall. We need to disconnect the wires. So get all the cords out of the way. To take the TV off the wall here, it has safety screws right here. If your mount is flat against the wall and it doesn't have an arm, there are still either safety screws like this or there'll be like a little hook you can pull down and it releases the bottom. But in either way, you can't get the TV off until you loosen these safety screws and take them down. After you unscrew those and you have all the wires in hand and you have a place to put the TV, now let's go ahead and take the TV off. I don't recommend you do this by yourself. I've done this a few times. So I'm gonna take my kids very nice Vizio OLED off the wall myself, but please have two people have a good idea of where you're gonna put it and, and then lift the TV off and then we'll move on to the next part. And now that we have the TV off and it's in a good spot, we can focus on taking the mount off the wall. In this case, it only has two bolts. You can again use a ratchet. These are half inch bolts. So you gotta find what fits for you and how you're gonna take it off. Sometimes there'll be toggle bolts that you need to screw with the screwdriver, but because I don't have the patience to do this by hand, I'm just gonna pull it off with these. So go ahead and pull these bolts out. Sometimes if you pull all of them out, the TV mount actually stays because it's stuck to the paint on the wall. And that happens quite a bit where you take everything out and the mount just stays, but don't rely on that because the mount could fall at any point. So be careful. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the arm here uh, or have someone else when you pull the last couple uh, holders from the top. So I always pull the bottom ones first. That way, um, you know, there's no weight on the bottom so you can pull the bottom ones out and then you can pull the, the top lag bolts out last so you know that's the last one. I'm gonna pull it out now. And there you go. Now I have the arm mount off. You know, save all the screws and bolts, everything. Just save it, put it in a bag. Not everything is important for a TV mount, like the lag bolts like this are not that important. Any installer has these kind of things on them. But what is important are specific screws to the mount. Sometimes it's the safety pins. Uh, sometimes, you know, just things, there are little particular parts to a mount that you need to keep for that mount. Otherwise, you'll be back at the hardware store trying to figure out how to, how to do it. So um, save everything and you'll be good.